Hello everybody and welcome to my new Let's Play, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I love this game a lot. I just got it a couple weeks ago and I really like it. It's It really takes my breath away, literally in this case. So yeah, I'm playing this on the Wii U because I don't have a Switch yet. I played through, you know, the Great Plateau part, but I'm going to start a new game from here. Oh man, I'm really looking forward to having this big adventure with you guys. And with that being said, let's begin. This is gonna be one of my biggest adventures yet. Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. This is gonna be awesome. Hold on, I gotta. The first film game with full voice acting. Unless you count those CDI games. On like a really squeaky rocking chair here. Open your eyes. Oh boy. Open where, your eyes. Where the heck am I? Wake up, Link. This is awesome. Okay, first, before I do anything, let me introduce you to Lake, the hero of this game. Right now, he's just running around in his underwear, and, to, and don't worry, I'll get more clothes later, so let's just head there. And this, see what we got. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Uh, okay. Thanks for the iPhone 7. Does it have a headphone jack? No? Okay. The Seeker Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Okay. Ready to move on, guys? Let's go. Told you guys we get clothes. We can open the inventory with plus. Okay, let's see. The trousers and the old shirt. Let's see what these say. These old trousers are thread, sorry, threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. Legs are a little bit too short though. Yeah. Old shirt, a thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a little bit on the short side. Uh yeah. How do we get clothes? Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. I'm okay. That 
We'll show you the way. All right. I've done this part before, but whatever. Don't worry, guys. I haven't gone that far. Authenticating. She could slay confirm. Ah, the sun, it burns! Link, you are the light. Our light. And must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. For the first time in Zelda history, Link can jump. You don't have to do this. Something from Skyward Sword. I never played that game. Seems fun. Now, this part is awesome to me. Hello everybody, Mystery here, and welcome to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is awesome. I cannot wait to take this adventure with you guys. Look, there's an old guy. All right. Grab a stick. Great, I could use it as a weapon. This is the closest thing I have to a weapon in real life. Hylian <laughs> shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around Pyro. He did to restore half a heart. Okay. There's more here. Hey, look, a rock. Let's push it. Sorry. Let's look around, find more cute. Hey, look, apples. A common fruit found on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. All right. Hey there, old guy. Nice to meet ya. Baked apple. The rug heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. Okay. I beg your pardon? I do believe that it is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please, help yourself. An apple of an open flame makes for a succulent treat. It is best and strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Nice. That temple there, long ago, was a site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom, a hundred years ago, it sat abandoned. In a state of decay. 
yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Well, it's been nice, it's been nice chatting with you. What's this? A torch! This torch will stay lit once ignited. If you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it up again. And you change weapons like that. Not bad. Well then, just help yourself with that torch there. And how may I ask are you planning to use it? Set things on fire? That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon, if need be. However, do not just swing it around with purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. <coughs> yeah. <I know. coughs> Zoe! Can you see I'm playing an awesome game here? <coughs> Woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it slow, make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Well, at least it's better than nothing. And, ooh, I believe I've already found the Master Sword. I know it's not really the Master Sword, but whatever. <laughs> hey, it's a Korok. These guys are all over the place. Plus, they're in Wind Waker. Aha, you found me. Huh? You're not Hetsu. <laughs> Zoe! What you? Yeah. Sorry, what? All right, I gotta stop real quick. I'll I'll be right back. Never mind, guys. But you can see me. I didn't know your kind would see the children in, of the forest. Well, if you run into Hetsu, please return this to him. A Korok seed. This moss seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them. I never know what would happen. Did, did he just give me some of his poop? Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose in the suspicious places. I plan to. <laughs> this isn't the rest. This isn't the Master Sword. It's a rusty broadsword. Hold on, I gotta. Yeah, I can craft by tapping the left stick. What? What do you want? What do you want for me? Head for the point marked on the map in Yoshika State. You can't tell me what to do. I do what I want! Sweet, now I got a sword. The Temple of Time? Ooh. Hold on. Might as well cut down some trees. I could use some more apples. Well, what are you? Get back here. Ah, dang it, it's gone. Got me some apples. And eh, eh. wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Not bad. But I'm keeping this rusty sword. Alright, let's explore some more. You know what? I'm gonna use the stick. What? Music is changing. What is happening? Sorry about that, guys. Just had to set the table for dinner. Now, let's see what we got. Nothing. 
Oh, is that Book Coblin? Ha <laughs> ha! I stole your club! What is it? A Bokoblin horn. A severed horn of a Bokoblin. A creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew or some it's with some critters to make an elixir. Nice. Let's use the rest of these. I want to explore this. Oh! Nice! Dead now. Ooh, a chest! Alien trousers! Traditional trousers of Hyrule. Plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Let's equip them then. Not bad for first day on the journey. Let's see if I can open these barrels. Oh! Choo choo jelly, a gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's, unsu it's unusable in this state, but applying it will, with a, with a bit of elemental stimulation, change its form. Okay. Temple of Time. Ah, oh, yes. What's here? Nothing. Oh, I can search this thing. What can I get? Uh, I don't know. Ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of un unknown material. And no matter how many times it's turned, its trends never seem to show signs of wear. Hmm. Neat. <laughs> yeah, Kyle's sitting beside me. Now, Kyle, say hi to the audience. Yes, Kyle. See what I can get. Ancient screw, what okay. game? Ancient gear. Gear used in ancient machinery. Despite being incredibly old, its build quality it leaps and bounds anything above built its current technology. You're going down, bunk! I'm just exploring. The Temple of Time. <laughs> I think the Master Sword would be here. Hey, it's the Goddess Statue from Skyward Sword. The Goddess smiles upon you. Let's see what this game has to offer. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing that pile of gravel. Nope, nothing inside to be concerned about. Ooh, but there is a ladder. What do you think of this game, Kyle? Is it fun? I don't know. Ooh, a chest. 
A soldier's bow. <laughs> Do I have any arrows? Nope. Oh well, guess I'll have to work for them. Hey mom! This is awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, nothing happened. Okay, I guess we're good. So much grass. Oh, that thing. <laughs> I'm just cutting grass in hopes of finding money. I forgot you can't do that in this game. Uh, yeah. So, we're Uh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah, that's just my dad trying to embarrass me. <laughs> hey, let's go find more junk. There's something up there. Here. A ah, bird egg. A fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. You can snag them from birds' nests if you're sneaky. Nutritious and delicious. Perfect for cooking. There's enemy camps here where like enemies like sleep and eat and all that. And I I'm gonna kill them. Let's see. Gotta be sneaky. I think of it as like those stealth games like that you watch all the time on YouTube. Well, not really all the time, but whatever. Yeah, I know that. Alright, I'm gonna distract the enemies. Booyah! <laughs> Take that! Ooh. Seared steak! Nice! Well, that was a waste of a sword. You look, more enemies. Now let's see if I can sneak attack. Wait, that, 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 that's not what I wanted. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Gotta eat. Sneaking behind. Sneaky. You just got wrecked! A bokeh bow, a basic but coupling bow made of wood. It's made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to either end. So don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness. Alright. 
arrows. Nice. Now I can shoot that bow I got. Uh, where is the corpse of the cat? Whatever. Time for adventuring. Let's go there again. Oh, my arrows. Oh, frogs. Hot footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Nice. In that case, I better take them off. Yeah, this game is awesome. Hey, look, more book goblins. Oh, wait, there's a. There's stuff here. Oh, well. Oh, crap. Physics! And they're freaking out. Nice! I gotta. Where can I push this? There we go. Ah, forget it. Dead. Okay, I guess it's time to head for my objection now. I mean, come on. This is... Oh, look, there's another Bacoblet. Headshot. Nice, one shot. Impressive. A Bacoblet fang. A tooth obtained from a bacoblet. It's worn worn down and not very sharp, but it's pr but it's still pretty hard. Hook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Okay. A traveler's sword, a very common sword, often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. A Boko shield, a goblin made shield created by attaching a, a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shooty, but don't uh, expect it to last very long. All right, got a shield now. You can parry it with A. Capable of reflecting projectiles. It is pretty sweet. All right. Let's get on with it. Examine. Place the Sheikah Slate on the pedestal. You mean my iPhone 7? Uh, okay. Uh, can you do with that? Uh, okay. Thanks. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. What is happening?
towers they must be all over the world now Local information. Regional map extracted. Now I got a map of the of the Great Plateau. Handy. So what now? Uh, I'm sorry. What? You have been asleep for the past one hundred years. I uh. Noticed. When a beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Huh? Holy crap. He looks unlike any other final boss I've ever faced in my travels ever. Not Andros, not Mew, you must hurry and not even Rex Fury. Before it's too late. Oh boy. Hands down. This is gonna be a tough journey. Alright. What now? Okay. How do I get down? Oh, there's a hole here. Okay. No, I just spiral down with no problem. Oh. Boom. What? Who's there? Hey, you're the old man I saw earlier. My, my, it would seem we can have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did you, did anything uh, occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well, now. Voice, you say? And did you recognize this mysterious voice? It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that's understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. But really, we have all the time in the world. We can take our time, do whatever the heck we want. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I 
must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to that castle? I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. Hmm. No wonder it's called the Great Plateau. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could no death could be more certain or more foolish. Well, of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider. Oh, cued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come swimming down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Or not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? All right. Come, let me show you something. But I don't want to now. You see, I, uh, what, what are we doing? You see that structure there? That one shining with a strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure for you. Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Hmm. Well, we're not going in there just yet. Today, I'm just gonna finish this episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time. See you next week.